If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn K6 series. In this episode 6, we are going to see about thresholds in K6. In last video, we have seen about checks. So checks are nothing but a validation of your status code or some response. And K6 will keep executing your script irrespective of checks whether it's pass or fail. So that is the main difference between checks and thresholds. So thresholds are nothing but a SLAs where you define the criteria in your K6 script and K6 will validate against that. At any point of time, if K6 finds certain uh, thresholds are violating, then it will halt the execution. So that is the main difference between checks and thresholds. A typical example is 95 percentile response time. So whenever you write some script or execute some scenario, you define a threshold. So this threshold will be validated. And if there is a violation, then you can stop the execution. So it is one of the must have feature for any tool so that you can validate the efficiency of your application or services. So K6 supports built in metrics as well as custom metrics. So next we are going to see how you can define the threshold. In terms of checks, you have to import the module checks from the default built-in K6 module a library. But in Threshold, there is no need to import any such library. All you need is the options. Inside the options, you can define the thresholds. You can define n number of thresholds. It's an array, so you can just add comma and then keep adding your thresholds. In Threshold, you have to mention the expression. and the metric so which metric you want to track and what is the expression so basically the criteria then if you use the flag like about on fail then uh, k6 will uh, stop the execution if there is a violation so as i mentioned k6 supports uh, custom and built in metrics so there are four types of metrics uh, in k6 one is uh, counter where it will keep uh, summing up a cumulative uh, addition 1 2 3 etc and gauge it will display the uh, last value so it, it takes minimum maximum and average i guess and rate uh, is just nothing but a percentage so trend is a metric that allows uh, the calculating uh, statistics on the added values such as minimum maximum average and percentile so now we are going to see a quick demo how you can uh, leverage thresholds in k6 so this is the simple script uh, which has the threshold So in line number four, we are defining a variable called options, and within the options, we have uh, defining the uh, two thresholds. So one is request block, which is the metric name, and the threshold expression, which is maximum of a request block should be less than two hundred milliseconds. And in case if there is a violation in this criteria, then it will abort. Similarly, request duration, which the threshold is uh, p ninety five. it should be less than 1 second and if there is a mismatch then it will uh, fail during the execution basically the whole test will be failed so to demonstrate let me uh, just execute this using the uh, k6 uh, run command so this will execute with one view so here if you see two metrics http request blocked and http request duration both are showing as pass because the maximum of 200 milliseconds of uh, this particular metric uh, actually it is pass so it is less than 200 milliseconds similarly p95 is less than 1 second for the request duration that is why these two check marks are showing up now i am going to uh, change the criteria for the p95 to say uh, 10 milliseconds so it should violate now let me uh, just uh, clear my screen here and execute So now, if you see this particular two checks has been failed, request blocked violated of two hundred milliseconds and duration also violated ten milliseconds p ninety five. And if you see at the bottom, it is showing some thresholds have failed, even though it is printing the console dot log message. So here uh, in line number twenty six, I am printing the response dot body, but it is giving 200 and all the checks are pass so there's nothing wrong with the request but the thresholds we have set has failed 
So this will give you the last exit code. So in PowerShell, if you just type a dollar and last exit code keyword, and here you will get 99 means it is failed. So how you can make sure your whole test is passing. So now let me just uh, revert to uh, one second and we can change this to say uh, 500 milliseconds. Now if I uh, execute the script again, you can see uh, two uh, check marks and if I type the last exit code, you can see the code is zero. So zero means everything is pass. So this is how K6 will decide whether the test is pass or fail based on the exit code. So this will be very helpful for uh, CICD automation. And if you want to automate something based on the exit code, then you can leverage the thresholds. So this is how you validate the efficiency of your application and services. So the main difference between checks and threshold is checks just validate the response or status code and it will not uh, control the flow. But if you want to control the flow, then you need to have thresholds in your test. So threshold is a must have feature as I mentioned earlier. Otherwise, you will not be able to validate the performance of your application or service. So if you want to completely test full fledged performance testing for your service or application, then please have uh, thresholds based on your requirement. So no need to define uh, whatever metrics are available. Uh, just add uh, whatever you think it is brings value to your test. So there are custom metrics, and there are built-in metrics. So you can leverage those and pick which threshold makes sense to your test so that you will be able to test your performance without any issues. So that's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.